Hello my people, welcome back to my channel. Popular Nollywood actress Lizzie Gould will be destinated to bestie. Don't cry out on top social media. Call narrate how her house help where she trusts, where where still her money run come up from the house. She not even stop at that. She even showed us CCTV footage of the girl. The time where they steal the money. Hey, my people, no be smart, you know. She still come to ask us questions. Say, even they possible say we feel trust anybody for this life. She also said that the most ungrateful people for this life now poor people. So tell people begin drag Lizzie Good say ah make sure you know they refer to person as poor because she was also born in a poor family. Lizzie Good don't talk say you see these poor people eh now them ungrateful pass walai say she they talk out of experience <laughs> my people I don't know how true that one be oh. but make we watch the video first we go still come back to that one guys um let me make it clear. I read some comments and then some people said maybe I was maltreating her that's why she left some said maybe I did not pay her first of all I don't know how to maltreat someone I'm never around I'm always traveling <laughs> she's the one managing the home she has my ATM card so whatever thing food anything they're buying she's in charge Sometimes you say um, she wants to buy undies, she wants to do this, she wants to buy sandals. I just say, yeah, with the ATM, collect money and buy. You know, and money, I paid her half when she came. Like, she's been with me for like months and she, she said that she helped her keep her money, that she would like to do business. So she helped her keep her money. Once it's time, I can add money to it, you know, and open a business for her, which is a good idea. You know, and I liked her so her so much because she knows how to take care of my kids like if you see my kids they're so fresh fat fine you know i like fat kids you know so i really really liked her but was it um last month my mother called me that um a man of god told her that there's a girl living with your daughter tell her to send the girl away the girl is evil the girl is this the girl will 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 deal with her the girl is dangerous the girl is possessed blah 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 i mean i didn't really believe all these kind of things so i told my mother that i beg i don't believe in prophecies you know i just believe in going to church it's not like i don't believe prophecies but i just feel that there are not so many genuine men of god so you know even even caused issues between me and my mom my mom was like i should send her away i told my mom i will not this girl is taking care of my kids for me do you understand so the girl uh i didn't listen to my mom <laughs> my mom said she will not visit me again until that girl leaves the house that she's not comfortable with the girl even when the girl came to worry spend christmas with my kids that she wasn't comfortable with the girl's spirit there's, there's something fishing about the girl so i told my mom that that girl hasn't done anything to me as long as my kids are okay are fine it's very difficult to see somebody that your kids like you know it's very very difficult to see somebody that can take care of your kids like I told my mom that well as long as they're okay so the girl kept staying in my house so two weeks ago i had a nightmare i had a dream i hardly dream but if i dream whatever i see come to pass it's just like like a gift you know that god gave to me you know i had a dream and dream wasn't nice at all it was a nightmare i told destiny the destiny look at the dream i had destiny said i should rush and go and tell the girl to leave it was my stubbornness that got me into this mess you know i didn't want to drive because i was stressed i took a taxi i went to my house okay so when i got there i i didn't let her know anything i just slept off the next morning i woke her up i told her to have a bath that she should pack her things and leave she was like why i said um that she needs to go for deliverance that um, nobody's above deliverance that there's some spirits you know that's disturbing her that when she's done with her deliverance i'll invite her back she was like okay no problem so um she, she went i put her in a car she went to abba when she went to abba I, w I went back to asaba to continue my work after my production i came back to enugu when i got to enugu you know the house wasn't looking too well taken care of you know it's it's a duplex so it wasn't looking too nice and i guess the stress you know and i guess the stress was too much for for the other girl because that one is quite younger so 
I said, let me just call success back. Maybe when I see somebody else, I'll tell her to go. So I called success. That's how much I liked her. I told her that, don't worry, come. You can do the deliverance in my house. All right? No, God is everywhere. So success came back after a week. So when success came, she started staying. After like four days, she told me that she wants to go to Abba. That's three days ago. I'm like, why? You don't want to stay anymore. She said um, that she wants to go. And I said, okay, that there's nothing. There's no food. Why not go to the market and buy things, you know? Then you can leave the next day. She said, no problem. So, I went to work to fame. I finished quite late. That was around 10 p.m. So, I thought, you know, let me just check on them, the kids, and everybody to know how they are doing. So, I called, called the other girl. I said, give the phone to success. She said, success left i said ah. well she told me she was going to leave the next day why did she leave in a hurry mind you before success came when i was doing this my nspd prayers i told god that god this one i brought this girl back to this house if she's a good girl let her stay but if she's not good let her use her mouth to tell me that she wants to go that's why when she said she wants to go i wasn't bothered because i already put it in prayers so i was like why why did she leave in here she would have just waited till the next day you know because I already told her to, to collect her transport fare, you know, and then I would transfer. She sent me her account number. All the money she has worked, I would transfer the money into her account. So when I got to the house, entered my room, I noticed that my the drawer was scattered, clothes were on the ground. The next thing my mind went to my money. I went straight to that place to check. That's how my money was gone. I didn't see my water and so you. The only I found out that she's collected my money. I left just thirty euro. That's where she left. Mind you, she told me to keep her money because she doesn't even have use for money. She doesn't have my ATM card. If she wants to buy anything, she takes money from the card. You know, so so that's that that's how she left. And the footage of the of when she's collecting the money, I'm gonna post it on my story. Alright? So I saw everything. She, she can't even deny. But like I said, I put people on the case, but if they are not able to get her i will stress myself but i will never trust anybody again and for now no other person is coming to my house i'll just be with the other girl that one has been with me for four years i'm so used to that one i trust that one so much you know that's it that's the story of my housekeeper all right so it hurts like i said it hurts because i work so hard for my money somebody was saying that uh, uh, he's saying because of 1,000 euro I'm making noise on social media 1,000 euro is a lot of money I work so hard for my money nobody dashes me money every single money I have I work hard for it okay by the grace of God my artist fee makes sense do you understand I'm a hard worker I know the rest so every single penny matters to me okay so stop saying all those things people are saying money is very important Secondly, I try to make life very easy for them. I did division of labor. I have somebody that sweeps the compound separately. I have someone that throws debts away. The only thing she does is just sweep the house, wash plates. The other one looks after the keys. Not like she does much work. I just try to make sure everybody is fine. You know, and she had to pay me this way. But like I said, I didn't listen to God. He spoke he spoke directly to me. I didn't listen. But thank God she has left. That's all I can say. And my kids are fine. So for the caption where she writes, where she don't already edit the caption, because the first time why I see that caption, it talks say my stubbornness got me into this mess. Eighty percent of these poor people are not good, but people begin drag them for comment section. So tell she can't delete the caption. She she can't remove that poor where she attach. Can't write her. Eighty percent of these people are not good. They just need strength to bite you. Check my story for CCTV footage of the girl stealing. Check my story for the complete side of the story. Yes, yeah, so my people, you guys already saw the CCTV footage. The time when I uh, when she was uh, talking, when I was showing you guys the video. So you guys saw the CCTV when the girl came to her box and uh, her drawer, whatsoever, and took the money. So my people, this is so sad. Onto reactions about her calling people poor. Someone said this your caption is all shades of 
wrong poor people rich and see well done next person said is the poor people for me because you are living okay you feel you have right to describe people as poor god help you lizzie someone responded ask her if she was born rich please i want to know next person said madam call out the girl that your caption is not good poor people are human beings too get her arrested and post her picture everywhere next person said 1000 euro is small money eh? You talk to 1,000 euro na small money. 1,000 euro na 800 and something thousand. Oh, that thing na small money. 800 and something thousand na small money to you. <laughs> Not be small thing, no. But people need to be careful the way they bring all this house help. They can buy someone, somebody too. My people, this person where they talk to 1,000 euro na small money. Ah, no be small money, oh. 1,000 euro na. 800 and something thousand naira now wait till it be so to me you no know, be small money be that especially when you work so hard to uh, make your money if you work hard to earn money you even value something as little as penny you go value on because then your sweat be that my own be saying god say the the house help no do anything to the children you know harm the children according to her she took proper care of the children so now that one be my own sha if she was able to trace her fine if she no trace her make she just enjoy the money as long as say her children they very very okay they are sound and safe that's the most important thing make on a like and share this video click on the red subscribe button below to join us click on the bell beside it to always get my notification whenever i upload any latest updates on this channel thank you so much for watching i will see you guys on my next video